Hi there. Welcome back to Karpakam Excel. Do you have a situation wherein you have got the name of the candidate and the date of birth? Based on this, do you have to calculate the age? Then this video is for you. Let's get started. When you look at the existing worksheet, I have got the name and the date of birth. And based on this, we want to extract the age at present. In order to do this, we need to have two important functions. One is called as year frac. The other one is called as an int function. Basically, what a year frac function performs. Year frac is very handy when you want to calculate a person's age or a fraction of a year. It has got three important arguments. One is the start date and end date and the basis. Here, I have got the start date comma i have got the end date as well comma when you look at this immediately it fetches you four important areas of consideration wherein do you have to include all this or you have to exclude it the zero talks about it has got exactly 30 days every month for 12 months that's the reason we have 360 and when you talk about the second one it's all about the actual a particular month may have 30 or 31 days based on that it will take it and i'm going to give one close the bracket when i hit enter you can see it has got me the what is the fraction of this year between these two dates when i drag it down you can see we have got it the fraction of the year which means one year and 0 0.2 year data we have got it so why should we use a year frac once i have identified what is the fraction of this year from the start date to the end date I have to use the int function to bring it down to the nearest positive integer. So when I click on this and close the bracket, you can see we have gotten it has got us to the nearest integer. When I drag it down, you can see it has we have got an integer of. Now I'm going to nest in year frac function with an int function. Year frac will help us to find out what is the difference between the two dates of fraction of it. And int will help us in converting it to the nearest integer. In this case, we don't have the start date. Our start date is as on today, what is the age we want to find out? As on today, what is the date we want to find out? So I'm nesting in today's function, comma. Where is the end date? We have got the end date here, comma. What is the basis of it? One, we want the actual one. When I close the bracket, again close the bracket and hit enter, we have got the age. And when I drag it down for every other function, this happens. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for joining. Stay tuned for more such videos. Good day.